I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Women die too! Good evening, miss. Oh my god, no. Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me. Please, no. I'm too young to die. I still have so much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I would... What? Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. Charlotte Ashbury. My mother taught me long ago how to recognize the signs that betray a vampire. I understand she also taught you how to tease and gently mock innocent young Ekons. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Charlotte. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullaney's. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Remember, don't let any strangers... Why are vampire... Not enter. This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage.
He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the son. your family. They mocked my talent! Is evolution? So, this girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher <laughs> acting school. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. 
I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullaney's. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Waiting for you to let your guard down. Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God! So you survived the war too? So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. I almost didn't recognize you either. War does that to men, I heard. In my case, it was true, for I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Can you help me? Infection is everywhere these days. But if you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging to the, the Mullaney's... Yes? What about the Mullaney's? What about their house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. Not enough movement. Closed doors. What is going on in there? You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, I must admit it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. I'm Doctor... I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand. Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. I may have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell.
That building is under quarantine. Could this be what I'm looking for? Believe I'm doing this. This is despicable. I have this thirst for blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. Thank you. 
So the husband had an affair.